Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Europa Universalis 4 Eldorado playthrough of our custom nation, the Kotobos Empire, where today we are, we're doing pretty good, honestly. We have a little bit of a, a religious issue in the country at the moment. Uh, we have a couple of Catholic provinces here from taking Congo, which I'm still annoyed about. The general consensus amongst the viewers seems to be that they had some form of event which caused them to convert to Catholicism, which makes sense, but it annoys me because the nearest Catholic nation is Portugal. Right the crap there. How'd they get an event for... Th I mean, it doesn't make sense to me that they popped a Catholic event when they aren't near any Catholics. But, oh well, c'est la vie. We are working on converting them, though it is causing some Catholic zealots. And I also noticed when I jumped into the safe, I had apparently kind of ignored this, but the Degomba Patriots over here, they're at 90%, so they are, who they're probably going to pop a little rebellion here soon. I'm kind of tempted to harsh treatment them, but eh, eh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe we just wait and see. Now, one thing I should probably boost ability, which I don't want to do because I'm trying to do religious ideas right now, but I think I should. We're at zero stability. I like having at least one, so let's go ahead and do that. Always a good plan, and uh, yeah, let's let's wait and see what happens with these Dagumba Patriots. I mean, they want to go back to Dagbon over here, which, I mean, they're my vassal, so I don't really mind them going over there, but at the same time, eh, I don't want to lose territory to rebels. So, we cannot give in to their terroristic demands, and ah, uh, look at my glorious giant name. Not quite as big as Ethiopia's. I mean, lengthwise, we're good, but girth, Ethiopia definitely has that. Damn you, Ethiopia. Damn you. And, of course, the Ottomans up there. Uh, but, yes, yes, we're doing pretty good. We are just about to finish our colony here on the Cape. I think I'll probably move our colonist here. Though, I have to admit, I'm kind of tempted to uh, hire a conquistador for this guy. And, you know, kind of do a little exploring in here. Maybe, actually, I think I might do that. This area only has 500, so if I just split off, like, one soldier here, that should actually keep that protected, and then do a little exploration. I think that would actually be a good plan to do, so let's unpause, let's let time move swiftly forward, and, uh, see how things go. We are, of course, also colonizing up here. That's got a ways to go, though. We will then... Oh, hello, new exploits. Oh, yes, our explorer. He is going and doing his job. Very good. Oh, my God, he's... He is a prodigious explorer, or prolific. Prolific is probably a much better word for that. But yes, after we finish this colony, we'll uh, move down to this one. I wish we had the ability to colonize these areas again. We used to. You used to be able to take the whole coast, but not anymore. In the... in Oh, God. Was it El Dorado or was it the previous update? I can't remember. But one of them recently uh, took away that and made them wasteland, which annoys me to no end. Ugh. I always like building down the coast. Colonizing is my favorite thing to do in this game. I don't know why, but I love it. So, <laughs> how are we doing with Portugal, actually? Are they mad at us still? Yeah, but they're at war with Morocco, Tunisia, and Mali. A lot of people they're at war with, which their war with Mali is not going very well for them. Hmm. Songhai, you really don't like me. Ooh, do, that reminds me. Do I have a mission? I could have sworn. Hold on, pause. Uh, excellent. We have our self-sustaining colony. Beautiful. Uh, go to that. Yes, I, oh, I almost forgot about this mission. We have a mission to claim our rival's province of Dendi, which is this little fella right here. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that, because I want to go to war with Songhai again, take more of their land. I kind of want to go to war with Air, but I think I should focus on Songhai, because not everyone likes Songhai, so they'll be an easier target. <laughs> Uh, I was also kind of tempted to go after Zazo here, but uh, he has already allied himself with Jenny and Timbuktu, so uh, yeah, he was quick to make some allies. Songhai, on the other hand, just has Jenny as their ally, which I'm surprised about that they still have that alliance after we uh, did some serious damage to them. Well, we mainly did damage to Songhai in our war, but yes, let's, rather than rambling, let's actually go and do that claiming of province on Dendi. I'm mainly doing it for the mission. I mean, we've got, I think, six or seven years. Oh, yes, the colony. Yeah, six or seven years until we can attack them again. So, oh, that's a lot of English ships. Hmm. 
Let's send our colonists there. Actually, before you go, let's grab you a conquistador. Yes. There we are. And you head there. And it said I had a general open. Should I put... Yeah, I'm going to put him with you. There we go, because we'll probably have a rebellion there soon. Probably good. I, I should actually probably switch these armies around. We've got a 9 stack here, and that's where rebels are probably going to pop. And we've got an 11 stack here for the Catholic conversion. Oh, going slowly but surely. Oh, Drunken Explorer. <laughs> I still don't see how that loses prestige. I mean, who doesn't like, uh, you know, getting their drink on on occasion? All right, there we go. Take that. When does that explorer get there? Oh my, 103 to 100 days. Okay, so. Let's break off like three. Oh, hello, revolt. Go to. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to send some people. Oh boy, let's just split this army in two. Send it up there. Oh god, actually, we may need to just take the whole thing. Yeah, the Catholic Zealots don't have much. They're only at 10%, so we'll just send the whole army up that way. Because, yeah, that 8 stack ain't going to do too well. I mean, we do we do have a general there. I'm glad I did put that commander in. Oh, vassals, help me. Oh, they are actually moving in. That is good. Oh, God, all these freaking exploits. Oh, boy. All right. Hey, Norse Zealots, come and help me. Why are you guys all just sitting there? I don't understand it. Oh, yeah, we're not doing too well in that battle. We lost. Oh, God. Okay. Well, my other army's moving in. Ah, oh, that did some serious damage. Ouch. You are going to take a bit to get there. Hmm. And we are losing money at the moment because of that. Did I build defenses there? I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, we do have a level... One Earth Rampart there. Well, technically level two, I guess. Uh, but yeah, okay. So we'll have our main army move up. You head into Mashi as well. We'll organize ourselves on Mashi. Exploration finished. Okay, let's grab him. And let's send you back out. Where do I want to send you? Europe, no. Europe, no. South America, no. North America, no. South America, no, 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 no. Huh, really? I can't send him out this way more? I was hoping he might, like, be able to go in here, but apparently, maybe maybe he's too far away. I don't know. I'm still not entirely sure how the whole system works. Well, I, I know roughly how it works, but that seems strange. Maybe... Though why would he go all the way to Europe, then? That... How does he even have stuff for Europe? I mean, that doesn't... Oh, the North Sea. Oh, okay, so like up there. So we'd find Iceland. Uh, the waters of the North Sea. Okay, well, let's... You know what? Let's send him to... Not Brazil. Actually, Brazil. Maybe he'll grab those. Okay, on pause. Where are my armies? Oh, God. Important trade technologies. Let's see. Inflation and Diplo power. Yeah, we'll take that. All right. How is my Diplo... Or not my Diplo power. My inflation... 1.42. Hmm. We should probably deal with that soon. All right. We are losing a little money right now because I am having to reinforce again. Son of a bitch. Okay. But let's just take these guys. Once that army gets there, we'll send everyone in. There we go. Excellent. Do loads of damage. I should be able to easily take those rebels. We've got a commander. We've got... Superior numbers, we are... Oh, yeah, we're decimating them. Excellent. Take care of them, horrible rebels. And let's actually see here for a moment. So you... Unrest is gone now. Lovely. Recent uprising, negative 20. Ah, uh, I need to take care of this whole Sunni issue. Uh, let's see, though. I do need to, I think... Combine these armies. And reorganize. Because I think... Yeah, I had 10... I had one army with 11, another army with 9. It did make sense. So now we have 10 in 10, though this one has slightly more cavalry. Too much cavalry, in fact. Hmm. You know what? I'll keep you at Borgu. You, come down here. You go back to Ndongo and dealing with the Catholic issue. And, okay, excellent. We have that colonist there, so let's split up this army. I will take the mercenaries. 
and one unit of our own guys. And uh, how does how does the conquistador work? Oh, it would help if I actually took the conquistador with me. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, why why couldn't I do anything? Because he didn't go with us. You know what? Let's just recombine them. Okay, okay. So you and you get left. We'll select this unit so we keep the commander. And then yes, excellent. There we go. We can walk into the Terra Incognita. Ah, uh, that was far more effort than it should have been. No, oh, zero troopers. What is this? Lose money and natives in Cero. Lose aggressiveness. Cero's the new one I just discovered over here, isn't it? One of these new places. Hold on. Why aren't you? I uh, no no no. Why the crap is Sarah? I could F to search for it, but I don't care. Is it where I'm actively colonizing? If it isn't, I don't give a crap. We'll take their gold. Yes, take their gold. <laughs> we don't actually get gold for it, though. We just get prestige. Yeah, we'll do that one. Okay. Works for me. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Finished his mission. Okay, so we need to select him to go for another. Uh, circumnavigate the globe. No, we have to be tech nine for that one. Ah, uh, let's see. Patagonia? No, maybe actually, possibly. Yeah, you know what? Go uh, go Panama. Go Panama. Here we go. Send them off that way. Unpause. England, I'm getting worried about you, you know, sailing ships up and down my coastline here. That does not uh does not make me happy. In fact, it worries me greatly. Stay away. St st just just stay away. Or if you're just going to India, I'm okay with you. But if if you're wanting to uh, move in on my turf, nah, -uh, buddy, nah. -uh. Oh wow, is that all you have for that little one province miner? Oh wow, <laughs> that is seriously all they have—a crappy little three tax base. Yes, we get an idea. Not in the idea group I want, because I want to tech up my military stuff. So never mind. Oh, I was hoping for a religious idea, but we're still a little bit away from that. Okay, okay. So you, you have explored there. Let's send you up that way. Claim our rival's province. Excellent. We have taken it. Uh, what do we have now? Create a proper fleet. Colonize St. Martin. Uh, no, crush Molly. I'm, a, I'm actually a little tempted to do that. <laughs> no, Molly is still... Uh, well, I mean... There are four techs behind us. But I kind of don't want to enrage Molly because I've pissed off Song High. And if I also piss off Molly, I'm likely to get a coalition after me. But I don't know. It might be fun. <laughs> oh, boy. That's actually a tough issue. I, I really should be creating a proper fleet. I've been saying that I'm going to create a proper fleet for ages. But the problem is 75% of my force limit is a crap load of ships. And I... That would bankrupt my economy. I mean, I'm not. I'm making okay money, but not 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 great money, <laughs> which kind of sucks. That reminds me, I should be building things, temples. Where can I build temples? You, Congo. What the crap? Did you not build any freaking temples? Okay, let's build those. Oh, I just realized that's using my admin points. Ah, yes, I f I forgot about that. Damn. <laughs> Well, I was hoping to get that uh, religious idea, but <laughs> no, Deus Volt would be fun, though, once we do freaking get... Oh, dear God, why'd I build all those temples? I want money, that's why, that makes sense. Let's do none of these. I don't want any of these. I mean, St. Martin's uh, over there. Oh, my, Portugal is spreading even more. I can't look at that. That is unnerving. <laughs> yeah, I don't like any of those missions, actually. The Crush Molly is my favorite, but that's only five prestige to go to war with them, and that will cause a hell of a lot of damage. What's their army like? Hold on, I'm still tempted. <laughs> Even though I know I shouldn't, I'm I'm still tempted. Especially with my manpower is a little low right now. They have 12,000 soldiers. I mean, I've got more than them. I've, I've got almost double. But yeah, that's... Ah... Uh... I'm kind of tempted. You know, I'm I'm unpausing. I'm going to leave the mission thing blank for now because I just... 
I find it amusing that it's Crush Molly, even though, you know, it just wants us to be at war. And it's only five prestige, so yeah, I'm gonna ignore it. Uh, that's annoying, though, and it's very annoying. <laughs> I really want to go to war with them. But that rebellion kind of hurt my manpower a little bit. I need to get that back up. And I do want to go to war with Songhai. I think that is my best option at the moment, though we do still have a truce with them. I mean, they're at war with Portugal, but I don't imagine that war with Portugal is very important for Portugal. I don't really see them doing anything, because they are at war with Morocco and Tunis, which they are winning, so they are paying more attention to that than their war with Mali. So I can't really imagine myself getting much, uh, hmm, you know, diversion of Mali troops by Portuguese forces. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna hold off on that. I'm still wondering what in the hell these Oh, that's a Catholic wait what no 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 that's that's Norse Sellets. Why 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 are these guys just standing around? I mean they could help, maybe colonize things or not colonize, but make sure the Norse religion is protected. Convert this province for me. It'd be nice if you would. Why are you just sitting there? <laughs> I don't I don't understand why they're just sitting there. Am I just permanently going to have 21 Norse zealots sitting on my land? Ah, <sighs> exploration finished. Where are you going to go to next? Let's send him... Mississippi. What the hell? Also, I almost forgot about this guy. Let's send him there. And these colonies... Ooh, three. That's not bad. Considering all these other ones seem to be ones. Quite nice there to have a three. We're at a two right now. That one's going to be a two. That one's a one. 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 Ha. Ah, saddened. Saddened. True. Oh, God. Cores. Coring the colonies. Oh, it's admin. Oh, God. I always forget to core my colonies. It happens every freaking time. All right. Damn it. Change the missions. <laughs> Uh, I really wish there was more variety in the missions and you had a bit more options with them. It's kind of kind of annoying a lot of the times because it's it's nothing that you want. <laughs> uh, it's like, do this thing. That thing will get me killed, but do it anyways for like five prestige. No, it's going to kill me. Do it. You know you want those five measly prestige. Oh, uh, that's how it goes, though. That's how it goes. I have two diplomats free. I should really be using them for something. Um... Well, for one, <laughs> let's, uh, where is it? Influence, no, not influence, relations. Oh, or, no, I was in the wrong one. Send insult. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, crap. Did I just send that to Kotobosi? And, oh, I sent that to the wrong person. I thought I had, I was clicked on Songhai. How did it suddenly go over to, Ko oh, balls. <laughs> I just accidentally insulted them. I am so sorry about that. How did that even happen? I had clicked on Songhai. That is very, that is very weird. Songhai, here, here you go. <laughs> Just insulted. <laughs> oh. Seriously, how did that happen? I had clicked on Songhai. And when I was in the diplomacy, I don't know. Did I like accidentally click out? I must have. I must have like clicked out like that. And accidentally put on the wrong damn one. Well, let's improve our relations with my diplomat now. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Oh, I feel bad about that, honestly. Portugal! You know, you know, they rivaled me. I forgot they rivaled me. Who are my rivals? Uh, Molly, Songhai, can I have a third? <gasps> Air! Yay! We'll go with them. I need a third rival. There we go. Hmm. Great Britain. Oh, you've taken the whole islands now, haven't you? I'm going to improve my relations with you again. Maybe, maybe we'll become friends one day. Oh, we have a tech. We have a tech. There we go. Diplotech 8. Lovely. Ooh, next Diplotech, we get ship upgrades. Always nice. Uh, Molly has declared war on Jolof. Oh, poor Jolof, you fool. Huh, maybe I will declare war on Molly now. Do I still have that mission? I do. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? What I am going to do? 
We're going to take this mission. And you guys in the comments, let's pause while I wait f to look at this. You guys in the comments, should I go to war with Molly? I have a feeling you're all going to say yes, and I want to attack Molly. I'm just worried about my current situation in the world. Lose stability. Oh, God. Stop them. Stop the pirates. And How does stopping pirates lose one stability? Oh, God. Oh, God. Trade efficiency and... Oh, God. National tax modifier down? Nope. We're stopping them. I'll lose the stability. <laughs> if it's money and, you know, my tax modifier... Oh, yeah. We're... We're going to war. We're not war. We're well. We're stopping pirates. I mean, technically, we'd be at war with the pirates, but nonetheless, okay. You, you still hate me, you Catholics. So that's you're a thirty percent. I'm moving my army up north. <laughs> Let's prepare for war. <laughs> you know what? Yes, automatic transport. That ship needs to do some work. Molly has a crampy little fleet. I should be able to destroy it quite easily. They only have their one coastal province, so uh, that's a thing. You, unrest. Not much. Well, you're moving over here then. <laughs> Ooh, no, no. Actually, you're gonna move here to Kamasi because we'll go through here. We'll attack from two angles. <laughs> oh yeah, you know that whole going into the comments and saying if I should go to war with Molly or not. Yeah, I'm going to war with Molly. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It has to happen. It needs to happen. Who are their allies? Air. Air. Really? Oh, that actually may change my mind on things. What is Air's current military strength? Come on, go up there. Excellent. A lot. Holy crap. Oh, no, that once they're... Damn, they've got 1,200... Or 12,000 infantry, 5,000 cavalry, and 3,000 artillery. That is actually quite impressive. I did not realize... How... When did they get... When? When in the hell did they join forces with Molly? Huh. Interesting. That actually may greatly change my decision-making process on this. <laughs> uh-huh. See, now... Yeah, because if I go in to attack them, it's going to be a defensive war, which Air will jump in on. Oh, boy. That actually does make this a bit trickier of a decision. I do want to attack air, but getting... But attacking both Molly and air? That actually... Yeah, that would be a very precarious situation. I mean, my vassals, I've got just eight soldiers here with them. Ah, uh, and I've got, you know, an open military of... How many? Let's twenty uh, ish. So I would be outnumbered. That is actually worrisome now. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, let's have you continue to explore. Go there, you fool. You're not going there. What? Why are you not going there? I know it's oh oh it's the wasteland. That's why. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm a fool. All right, move this way. Don't go into the territory, but that should pop some exploration over there. Eh, well, that's depressing that that's what we have in that colony. 100% uh, of the ducats here. Excellent. Leaves the trade note. Very good. And Norway went to war with someone. I have all the trade. <laughs> Excellent. Aha! We have our permanent de Deus Volt. Religious idea. There we go. Let's take that. Perfect. Permanent Cassus Pelai against neighboring, neighboring heathens and heretics. That means we can go to war with anyone we please around us. I'm just going to take a look at that. Cassus Belli. Oh, we have a Cassus Belli, so we do have... I was going to take a look at it, but here we go. Mali, Songhai, Air, Zazu. They are accused... Or accursed infidels. Show superiority. Ah, excellent. Superiority is fun. Okay, so. Where are you going? Are you just sitting there now? You are, in fact, just sitting there. Go into dock. Okay. Yeah, I am, I am torn on this whole attacking... 
attacking Molly issue. Cannot believe that they're they they are joined with air. That is that is interesting. Can I do possibly anything to do a or, hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know. So discontent. We are lacking the proper ideas. Oh yes, that would help. That would help a lot. <laughs> We're lacking the proper ideas for that. We are lacking the proper ideas for that. We are lacking all the ideas. <laughs> oh god. They see they have a royal marriage with me though, so I mean that's gotta count for something, right? Uh but they also do with Molly. Yeah, I'm actually really torn on that. I'm gonna have to hold off, I think. Oh, yeah. I just saw uh, an event for us and Great Britain, and I, uh, my heart sunk momentarily. I was like, oh, God, what? <laughs> no, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, you, you can come back now. Rejoin the colony forces. All right, so Kilwa. You're a little bit big. Ooh, wow, that's a big stack to fight there. Hmm, intriguing. Ooh, that's a four tax base. Oh, man, look at all those natives, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to work my way up this side of the coast. We got two provinces here with four tax base. That's very nice. We'd have to colonize some crappy ones, but, I mean, that's that's not bad. Oh, those poor soldiers. They're just hitting everything along the way. Uh, but, actually, I think this is, this is a good point to pause the game and stop here. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, we are almost at the half-hour mark. And I am honestly torn of what to do with Molly. I kind of want to go to war with them, but air between the two of them, either one on their own, I could take with no problem whatsoever. Together, that's a different story. But you guys in the comments below, you know, say what you think. Maybe, maybe we go and do it. Hit them hard, hit them fast. Maybe air won't join. They will, though, because it's a defensive war. I mean, that's going to happen. But yeah, I mean, uh, what do you guys think I should do? I'm tempted to, but hmm, it might not be the best choice for us. But nonetheless, the Kotobos Empire is thriving at the moment, so that is always a good thing. And I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you come back for the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.